Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video guys. Today we are here. And um so I loaded up an Attack of the B Team world and um so I'm just gonna put a small pause to the actual Attack of the B Team stuff guys. Um we're just gonna learn a little bit more about the mods and then we'll get into that. So first mod that we're gonna learn about today is gonna be Tinker's Construct. It's a wonderful mod. Um if most mod packs actually have Tinker's Construct, if they don't, then um, I really don't know any mod packs that don't have Tinker's Construct on them. Anything that's really actually like a good mod pack. So, <laughs> the worst parkour ever. Yay! Hey, I made it. Okay, whatever. Um, so today what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be making up some end game tools and uh, all that stuff um yeah not weapons just tools we're gonna be telling you like about modifiers and all that type of stuff if you guys want the basics like the smeltery and stuff go check out my other attack of the b team video i did make a smeltery in attack of the b team and uh you guys can see how it's made in that video so before we begin we're going to just take a look at these things that i have lined up First, we have a tool forge. It's basically a tool station, which is right here, uh, except um, it has more of these, more uh, stuff to make. And then, so tool station, you basically combine different stuff to get uh, these type of stuff. And um, here, let me just, actually, never mind. It's just a pickaxe I made up, so we're going to add some modifiers to that and all that stuff. So, oh my god. Alright, so yeah, uh, that's for that. And then the part builder. Part builder is um, so that if you have a stencil that you need to make, like let's say you want to make a, um, from the smeltery, you put gold around something, and then you want to make, let's say, a, um, yeah, you just like put a pattern here, like a pattern, you store patterns in this thing. It's called a pattern chest. If you click on the crafting, or one second. Yeah, so pattern chest, uh, you normally put pattern chests. Oh my god, why do I keep doing that over and over again? So you put pattern chest right next to the part builder so that you can take patterns out of that, put it here, and then put like ingots into here, and then you get parts. That's the part builder. Stencil table, I set it up wrong. <laughs> Stencil table, uh, you take like one of these things, um, you put um, a piece like of. I'm pretty sure you put like a piece of wood in here and then you can like change the pattern and you can set uh, change the patterns and then here it says next pattern previous pattern you can change the patterns and you can get patterns which you put in here your pattern chest and or yeah and then the only reason you put this next to it is because you have it here and it's like useful that way this is a crafting station this is just a crafting table except it's tinker's constructs version if you put something in it you can keep it in there, and it won't come out, even if you go out. So, that's a nice way to get rid of your stuff that you don't need. Um, I don't need this. No, in here. There you go. Okay, uh, this is a pattern chest by itself, and this is a tool forge. Oh my god. I didn't put it on peaceful, did I? Mode. Is this how you do it? Peaceful. Nope. It's not a number. Okay, so, um, alright, so, escape, options, um, achievement, statistics, alright, I'll just do it later, I guess. Um, yeah, and this is basically just an upgraded version of the tool station over there. So, now, let's get started. So, two things that we need. We need, um, for this stuff, this is, um, paper stack. Uh, you just, I'm pretty sure it's just paper. I'm not sure exactly, but, let's see. No, how, wait, what's the recipe? I think I need to be in recipe mode. Here, hit R. Yeah, here we go. Just four paper like that, and then hit E. Okay, good. So, that's that, and then we also need a ball of moss. This is one of the most... It's one of the most useful, um, one of the most useful things in the, uh, mo one of the most useful modifiers, yes. 
That's what I was uh, actually I'll need this. So let's keep it. So first things first, we make a pickaxe, and uh, that's the first tool that you want to make. And then a pickaxe. This is this pickaxe is actually just um. I made it with a manual and tool rod, a pickaxe, cobalt tough, uh, uh, cobalt pickaxe head, and a, a piece of paper uh, for the binding. So if you come here, this is the binding. This is the pickaxe, cobalt pickaxe head, and this is manual. And by the way, guys, if you guys don't know what how to get manual, in, uh, manual in is um, an alloy. It's cobalt mixed with um, it's cobalt mixed with what is it mixed with? It is cobalt and it's like pig iron ore or something. I'm not exactly sure. We'll check later, I think. I'll check. Yeah, I'll check later. So, uh, yeah, let's give us some lapis, actually. We'll need some lapis. Um, okay, so the first thing that you want to do to upgrade your pickaxe, you always want to put a ball of moss. It's auto repair. So you take the uh, auto repair, and then you put lapis in it. So here, take the lapis here, and then you put this here actually fill it up on lapis and then um, keep doing it over and over again until it's at 450 here and then I'm not gonna do it until 450 but that's what you want to do and then you want to put sometimes you want to put um, it's um, some people want silk touch so you would put a silky dwell but I personally it's right here and this is made by this is made by, oh my god, I do not know what it's made by, one second. This is made by, um, four silky cloth, which is made by string surrounded a golden, a golden nugget? An, an aluminum brass, no, a gold nugget, that works too, okay. Um, so, I personally, however, like, it's, um, auto smelt, and that is a lava crystal, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a lava crystal, give me some lavas. Uh, e. There we go. So, um, now we can add some lava. Oh, also, yes, you guys did notice. This does keep everything inside it. So, that is, li it's kind of like the, um, it's kind of like the crafting station in that manner. I'm pretty sure all of the Tinker stuff have that. And if you guys don't know how to create them, go check out that video about the smeltery on Attack of the Bee Team. I will have a link at, uh, or I'll put it at the end of the video so you guys can just click on it. Yeah, and now we want redstone. So we have four, um, sorry, I'm not really doing a good job of explaining, but I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. So, basically, you have this, right? Uh, so first you have modifiers. Modifiers you get by creating stuff, really. Um, <laughs> so cobalt is the fastest mining speed. Manual, manual, no, yes, no. Manual is mining speed and mining level. Cobalt is durability. And, um, paper, paper doesn't really do anything. It reduces the, um, mining speed, I'm pretty sure, but it gives you an extra modifier. And usually, modifier, uh, yeah, you really like, you want modifiers. And the last modifier that you're going to have is redstone. Since when can you not use a block of, a oh, large redstone block, come on. You're joking me. This should work, however. Yes, redstone. So, uh, redstone, what does redstone do? Redstone is haste, and, um, this is looting. Lapis is looting, and it's luck. And, um, yeah, so now this pickaxe, if we mine stuff, it'll automatically smelt the stuff that we mine, which is cool. Uh, I'm in creative mode, so it doesn't work, and I am definitely not switching to survival mode. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Wait, should I switch? Sure. Uh, game mode one. Nope, sorry, wrong game mode. Zero. Yes, game mode zero, which is survival. And then now, if you can see, we have sand. And then if we put, like, something, what can be smelted? Can... Uh, we'll find something that can be smelted soon. I don't know what can be smelted, but just trust me, guys. It's auto smelt. So this is how fast it mines. It's pretty good. Um, it gives you luck or looting. So it's like fortune, basically. And so that's like the first thing you want to make. The next thing that you want to make is um, uh, game mode 
this time we need one and then so now what you want is you want so we're gonna keep this pickaxe here so we don't lose it and we're gonna clear out our uh, inventory shove this in I'll need the ball of moss and I'll need the redstone so we will actually keep that also guys there is a way for you to um, increase the amount of modifiers that you have so uh, how will people do that well you um you can either use a gold block and a diamond both of them at the same time and then you'll get an extra modifier uh, that's like an upgrade or you can use a nether star and so uh, what we're gonna do next we're gonna make ourselves a hammer so a hammer is a I'm pretty sure it's a three by three of um sorry about that it was a three by three of I'm not exactly sure what it was the hammer um so that's kind of funny but not really okay um so the three by three hammer is um so what we need we need like cobalt we need lots of cobalt so we're gonna get cobalt yeah we're gonna need two large plates and then we're gonna need a binding and then i'll just make a s uh, paper we need some paper so this is going to be my ideal hammer and a hammer these are just going to be the four most useful stuff in this video by the way guys uh so this is a tough rod i'm pretty sure we need tough rod so we're going to take a tough rod that that makes sense okay so now let us open up another tool forge and we get a hammer so a hammer is this i'm pretty sure yes that's a hammer no it's not a hammer is this a hammer What's the hammer? Where's the hammer? Oh no, this is definitely the hammer. Yeah. Two um plates. Uh no, I need this. Sorry. What is that? I'm not sure what that is. I'll quickly let me look here. So cobalt and uh what looks like that here? Hammerhead? Yeah, that makes sense. Hammerhead. Um, bang, and then we need, actually, no, this goes here, and then we'll need this to go here, and this makes ourselves a nice little hammer, it has reinforced too, and it's writable, we're going to definitely add, um, auto smelt onto it, it's, um, auto smelt is ideal for most stuff that we need, that we're going to be making, so we'll take the, uh, lava crystal here, we also always, always, always want this, so don't forget, sorry ball of moss is the first thing that you always want it's always the one that you want it's like it's it's godly you want also some redstone and then you want we, we have one more modifier and you will put some more lapis so it's basically the same that's what i would do really uh we'll take our lapis and we'll go out so hammer i'm pretty sure yeah it's a three by three so if you look at this if you're trying to go down into the depths or you're just trying to mine something out i keep forgetting i'm in creative um you can do that so here three 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 so now we should be four blocks down and i'm pretty sure if you have stone which i will get stone Yeah, normal stone from Minecraft. Oh my god, I don't know what I keep doing. We will create a 3x3 three three block of stone. This 3 this way, and it's only too high. So let's go one more, and then we'll go one on top. Oh, sorry guys. Um, you will put this here, and we will mine it and i'm pretty sure this gives us oh it just gives us okay never mind but um if as you saw it got gave us stone not cobblestone so that's that's good that's definitely good um now next what do we want next we will want a actually here let's put it in the item frame so we don't forget about it uh next what do we want we will want Wrong thing, whatever. Bang. It's so annoying. I mean, I have like this thing where everything must be organized or else I, like this does not look really organized to you, but 
don't worry it's better than nothing so next what do we need next we'll need a lumber axe which is a one it's like yeah it's a lumber axe so what it does it it's like it's just like i can't really tell you what it is basically it mines out the whole um a tree a whole tree for you so what do we want we need some of this we need a paper tough rod and then we will give ourselves a cobalt hammer or cobalt large plate we need a i'm pretty sure we need a cobalt cobalt um we need something that looks like this yes axe head and we also need um sorry we also need paper paper and that we will need a small bind or a large binding this one tough binding same thing what am i doing i don't even know what i'm doing oh my god uh we need the he here here there right there and then we put this here and bang we get ourselves a lumber axe and lumber axe so you can definitely put um auto smelt on it i would definitely put redstone for sure and i would probably put um i always put moss on everything that's the thing some if you like need like power in your attack of the b team world the best thing to do is just like bang you get auto smelt on it and then you get a bunch of redstone on it and then you get a bunch of lapis on it okay so this uh, will take ourselves with a jungle sapling. Uh, we'll get ourselves 64 of that. I'll need to clear my inventory better, but. Uh, get rid of this, get rid of, I'll just keep that. I might need it soon. So, um. We'll need some dirt too, so we'll just get ourselves one piece of dirt. Bone meal. And then the this is like it's if you want a bunch of wood, then you can get a bunch of wood with this. This is crazy amounts of wood. It's like it's not even real. And then if you want coal, charcoal, because you have to smelt it, it automatically smelts it. So Does that, is that really a jungle tree? That does not look like a jungle tree to me. Jungle trees are definitely bigger than this, but whatever. Uh, what we are going to do, we're going to take our lumber axe, and then it, like, you want to hit the bottom, but then it just destroys the whole tree. It gives you saplings, and if you were in survival, it would give you charcoal too. So, that's nice, that's definitely um, nice to have uh n the last or we'll do two more things uh two actually oh wait wait how did that put dirt down i don't even know how i put dirt down wait if i put stone down then will this put down a piece of stone i don't know i don't know i put dirt down for sure so i'm not sure what i did but um, two more things that we're going to do for this episode. We're going to do two interesting stuff. And I don't know why I just keep making this thing, but we don't really need it. Next is going to be an excavator. So that, it mines, where's the excavator? I don't see the excavator. Where is the excavator? I am not sure. Um... Well, I guess what you need, you just need, um, I just looked, so we will go to the normal thing, and then we will put paper tough rod in, we will put a paper, or paper tough binding, and then we'll put paper there, and then we'll put this here, and then, uh, we will need... And then cobalt. Um, what did I do? Um, escape. Okay. What did I do? Did I like completely do something to NEI? 
Wait, what did I really do? Alright, I have no idea what I did. Um. Okay, I guess I can try and... Thermal expansion, random things. Tinker's construct tool parts. Okay, I guess that actually works. So we need cobalt and we need... um. It's like a... It looks like a duck feet. Yeah, it looks like this. I don't know what... It's like excavator head. Yeah, definitely. And we'll put that in here and we get ourselves a nice little excavator. And what are we going to put on the excavator for modifiers? Well, as far as that goes, I'm pretty sure we will... We'll do what we always do, guys. We'll do what we always do. But I'm not actually going to do that right now. What the excavator does do is if you have a lot of doit... Oh my god, now let's go back here. Who is it? Who is this? Okay. Um. Alright, is this 3x3 three three or is this just normal? I'm going to check. I'm pretty sure this is 3x3 three three at least, right? And uh, we put, go to the center with the excavator. No, it doesn't do that, so I'm pretty sure there's something that, um, it's, but it's still really good if you just want to, this just normally does this, but, um, I am obviously in creative, but you guys can make it as much haste as you want, you can make it insta-click easy, uh, we have one more thing that we need to do, and that's gonna be making, one of my favorites, actually, it's a mat hawk, so when you just explore the world, um, we need a handle, and we'll need, okay, so let's see here we will get we, we what do we need for the mat talk again axe head shovel so axe head did i not yeah i have axe head we're definitely going to do axe head and then we need a shovel head and we'll do the handle we're going to do this and shovel head we will get cobalt for sure one two three four five um shovel head is this shovel no this is arrowhead yeah, we're definitely going to have this more than one parts, by the way. Uh, more than one part, um, because we definitely cannot cover Tinker's Construct in just one part. Uh, where is the... Where is the... Wait, what? Oh, shovel head. Here we go. Okay, I just passed it. Um, no. Okay, oh, it actually works. Okay. And then we will put our... My god, please. Okay, good. And then we will put the shovel head in here, and we have ourselves not a mattock. Not a broad axe head. We need an axe head. Oh my god, what was I thinking? Uh, let's see, let's get ourselves an axe head. Uh, cobalt, yes, cobalt. Cobalt is um pretty good. Now what did I do? Do I actually need an actual handle? Oh my god, this is... So, um, not a tool rod, we need a handle. Where is a handle? I saw a handle. Um, let's see here. We have ourselves... Not a tough rod. I really don't know what to be looking for here. We need... Here, let me see what we need. We need, um... We have a br uh, axe head, we have a shovel head, and we need a handle, but, like, what's the handle? Um, is it just this? Paper tool rod? Did I just have, like, tough rod or something? Yeah, I think I have a tough rod, I need a tool rod. If that's actually it, I'm gonna, oh my god, wow. But a mat talk, a mat talk is actually fun to use, um, uh, so... It works as not only a hoe, not only, um, do I have any more jungle saplings? No, it, it works as an axe, if you need an axe. And then if you need a pickaxe, no, this is just insta-click, but it works as an axe, and then it works on dirt. So it works good on dirt, it works, it hoes the ground, and it cr uh, kills trees. So... With that, guys, I think we're going to end this uh, first video about tools uh, here. 
I think I hope you guys all enjoyed and by the way this I was expecting more progress than this but don't worry I will be better prepared next time I make one of these videos we will have a bunch more tinker constructs uh tinkers construct mod intros and I will try and figure out what I did to my NEI I like it better without this. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'm going to just stay here for a while to get a thumbnail. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And hit the bell. It lets you know when new videos come out. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And, um... I guess I'll see you guys next time. Sorry. Alright, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. Let you know when new videos like these come out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.